Hey, welcome to another episode of Mondo and Friends. My name is Mondo Fresco, and today I am here with someone very special, uh, one of Mondo's new friends, a viral chef, a super humble, amazing person, Jenny. How are you? I'm good, Mondo. Thank you so much for having me here. Now, you go by... I go by Jenny Martinez. And your, your handle is? Uh, TikTok is Jenny Martinez with triple Z's at the end. So Jenny Martinez. <laughs> and then Happy Bellies. And on Instagram is Happy Bellies by Jenny. By Jenny. So I'm sure you've seen her face. She has gone viral many times. And uh, I just love your story, Jenny. I love your story. I love uh, to watch your videos and i want to learn more you know i think people want to learn more about you you know uh the fact that you have um and as, as we were talking earlier you have um sort of just skyrocketed not sort of you have skyrocketed um in the middle of of a pandemic and you have found success in a pandemic which um, it's very difficult. You know, most people, it's it's hit people hard. And, and to be able to shine, to be able to grow uh, and succeed in, in the middle of all of this, uh, it's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I still can't believe it. Like, I honestly still can't believe it. People stop me at the, at the streets and they want to they take a picture with me and uh, or they recognize me even just by my voice. It's funny how well we're walking wearing a mask. And sometimes I have my hair up or with a hoodie and they stop me. She's like, are you the girl that says beautiful? I recognize you by your voice. <laughs> yeah, and it's yeah. just amazing. <laughs> or, or little kids that they, I, you know, they say beautiful as they pass by me, but they, they get embarrassed, I guess, to ask me for a picture. But um, I see them. I see them pointing at me or telling their mom. And that's, that's really, really beautiful. And I still can't believe it. I can't believe it. Well, you can't just say beautiful like that. You got you got to say it the way you you do. In your you know what? Videos. It's funny. I was saying like a, a lot of chefs, a lot of cooks, they say beautiful. If you really pay attention, after they finish their creation, they say beautiful. But uh, I've been told it's like, no, Jenny, you took that beautiful to the next level. And how do you say it? <laughs> I said beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> That's a signature beautiful right there. Yeah. You know how is it, Michael Buffer, Fred? let's get ready to rumble <laughs> right he gets paid uh to to say, that, to say that just to say that i mean maybe it could be something that that you get paid to say beautiful you know oh, you just gosh, go to places so. <laughs> like all right here to say her tagline <laughs> jenny martinez you just get say beautiful imagine money just coming nice. in i know i get a lot of fans saying oh my gosh jenny you have me saying beautiful every time or listo every time i finish my dish my kids are walking around saying beautiful and listo. And to me, that's, that's, that's really, I don't know, it just hit, it hits home. It's, it's really nice to hear that. The fans love it. So, okay, so we were talking uh, just a minute ago. Um, I found out that in March of 2020, so right when lockdown, quarantine, all that was happening, uh, you started to create videos on, on TikTok and things started going viral. Videos started going viral for you. I want to, before we get into that, I want to go back a little bit um, to when you, do you remember when you first thought, hey, cooking is kind of fun for me? <laughs> well, look, Mondo, I've always cooked. I've always enjoyed cooking. As a matter of fact, they used to call me the Mexican Rachel Ray. Uh, my husband was, would always say the Betty Crocker, the Mexican Betty Crocker, just because I was always doing like, uh, like a, an appetizer, my dinner, and then dessert. So he would always say, come and sit down. You're always cooking. But that's something that I've always enjoyed. But uh, when the whole Facebook and then Instagram, I started posting pictures of my food, you know, you, get, you pretty much bore your family. It's like, oh, another picture of what you cook today. My daughter gave me the idea. Why don't you open uh, like a separate account just for food? I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are going to appreciate that. So we couldn't find Jenny Martinez. We ended up with Happy Bellies by Jenny. Just because, I don't know if you know a saying in, in, in uh, Spanish that says, pancita llena corazón contento. Of course. So that's how I came with Happy Bellies by Jenny. Everybody's happy when they have a full belly, right? 
And so everybody's the happiest when they're eating food. Yes. So that's how I came up with this name. And I started posting uh, keto. I started posting keto because I started my diet. And my daughter's like, don't post keto. Put, you should be posting your Mexican dishes. And I said, no, well, there's a lot of people that cook already Mexican. I want to stay true to what I'm doing now, my diet. Yeah, yeah. But uh, she says, why don't you open a TikTok account? And, uh, and then she convinced me to do that. I'm like, what's TikTok? She says, it's, it's a new thing. It's a new, it's a new app. You should start posting there. So that's how I started posting on TikTok, thanks to my daughter. Amazing. Your daughter, Cindy. My daughter, Cindy. Who's here in the building. <laughs> Shout out to Cindy. Who is my daughter-ger. <laughs> Your daughter-ger. I love that. I love that. I, I heard a mama-ger. <laughs> daughter I Yeah, love she's that. the one that helps me. If if it wasn't for her, I don't know how far I would have gone. That's 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 such an amazing story. The fact that it's become a family business. You, you know, your daughter helping you out uh, with with the content, and and I applaud you know everyone in your household because I'm sure everyone gets involved. Uh -huh. um, it's being a content creator is is far from easy, and you have to be consistent. You have to be creative. You have to have new recipes, you know, every, every day. I'm sure that that gets challenged. How, how does, how does a, a recipe make the cut? Like a, a, when it comes to, uh, it, when it comes to Mexican Like how do food. I decide like what I'm going to be cooking that day? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. Like when it comes to Mexican food, there's so many recipes what makes you well listen like yes. i like i like i've told you i've always loved cooking i've always been cooking the only difference that i did was just put a camera in front of me and i grabbed my child my 12 year old my 13 year old they were the ones recording me and in the very beginning you could hear my kids counting <laughs> like one two three uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you could hear the three but uh the funny thing is that the way that i've always how do i come up with the dish it's like what's on sale like I go to the grocery store and I see what's on sale and I, and that's when I said, okay, I'm going to do chicken tinga or I'm going to do birria or I'm going to do chile rellenos or if carnitas, whatever was on sale that week, I would come home and that's what the dish that I would cook. Funny okay. thing, but it, it, I've learned this from my dad. He was always that penny saver. He had a family of seven and so... It, he had to, I mean, paying what they were paying him $3 an hour back in the day. So he really had to save money. And uh, we learned it from him. All my sisters, I think we got it from him. We go to the store and we're like, okay, where are the sales at? And <laughs> that's how you're able to eat good, but, you know, not really like hurting your budget either. Yeah. Yeah. Now that you're cooking, how, how many recipes do you think you cook? On a, on a weekly basis? On a weekly basis, well, f seven, or sometimes, well, if we count breakfast, <laughs> there is, gosh, I'm always cooking. It's funny how, <laughs> it's funny how um, if my kids don't, when they were little, my little boys right now, uh, when they wouldn't see me in the kitchen, they would say, Mom, where are you? And I'm like, I'm in the restroom. Like, what do you need? Well, you're not in the kitchen and you're always in the kitchen. I think I want to say I cook, gosh, like 14 to 20 meals in a week. Wow. So I'm assuming when you cook the recipes that are posted as, as content, you, the fam, that's, that's what they eat that day, right? Yeah, it's <laughs> pretty yeah. much. And, and then sometimes my neighbors, like I'm always... I got so used to cooking such large quantities because of my mom. Yeah. So it's rare to me to cook, to cook in small portions. So I always like to have the leftovers because I also got used to uh, sending lunch to my husband. And uh, now that I still cook a lot and now the older kids are like, well, bye, I'm going with uh, the boyfriend to, uh, I'm going with my boyfriend to go have lunch. I end up with a lot of food. So I, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. I, I give it away. I give it away. It's we never waste food, never waste food. Or what I do, I always recreate another dish with my leftovers. And so that's also another way to uh, save money. Yeah. Especially that's... during the pandemic. A lot of people were saying, oh, my gosh, like there's no meat. Like there's no really like canned goods anymore. Like what do I do? So one of the things that I was teaching my, my followers is like use what you have in your house. Like if I go to my pantry, I'm always well stocked and 
as I saw that there was a lot of things that I was not having, I would, okay, well, let's modify a dish. Okay, I don't have like fresh tomatoes right now, but I have the canned tomatoes. Let's yeah. use those. Okay, it's not the best thing, but if you know how to season your food, it's going to taste good. Yeah, yeah. Have you made any any updates in your kitchen since you first started making videos to now? or To the actual house, like yeah. the kitchen? No, no. It's funny how um, my husband wants to do the changes, and I said, no, I want to move. <laughs> <laughs> I need a bigger house. Yeah, I need a bigger yeah. kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A and it's so true. Now that we get like other people coming to the house to record what I'm doing, we don't fit. Like there's just too much equipment and my house is tiny. My house is, is really small. It's a four bedroom house, but the living room is pretty small. So instead of me investing in redoing a kitchen, I like my kitchen. I still like it. But uh, I said, if we're going to do a change, we're getting another house. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's good. That's good. <laughs> that's good to tell. What's your husband's name? His name is, we call him Nene, but Nene. his name is Arnulfo. Arnulfo. <laughs> And let me tell you, okay, let me tell you a funny story. My name is Juana, okay? My, I got my mother's, my, my grandmother's name, Juana. That's beautiful. A lot of people, when I was going to school, they couldn't pronounce Juana. And I would cry to my mom. I'm like, oh, they call me Juna, Juana, Juana. And I'm <laughs> like, I don't like it, mom. Like, why was I the lucky one to get my grandma's name? And... My uncle saw that I was, like, I hated my name. And he says, I'm going to start calling you um, Juani. And when I got my very first job, they still couldn't pronounce Juani. And I said, just call me Jenny. And ever since, Jenny got stuck. <laughs> but right before we got married, my husband and I, we got married very young. So, what, you know, when, when you're about to get married, they test you. Yeah. They test you with blood tests. Um, so we went to go get our blood test, and they called us Juana y Arnulfo. So we stand up, you know, 17-year-old yeah. girl, 19-year-old boy. We stand up, and the nurse, she sees us. Yeah. And then she's like, Juana y Arnulfo? <laughs> and I'm like, we're right here. <laughs> and she says, oh, my gosh. I was waiting to see a fat, uh, a fat woman and a bald guy. Oh, my gosh. Like, how did you guys end up with those names? And we're like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know what? Well, um, a lot of people don't know, but <laughs> since we're sharing real names, <laughs> um, my my middle name is Armando, which is where Armando comes from. Um, my first name is Hilario. Il <laughs> okay, now that name was given to me by my dad. Um, that was his his brother's uh, first name, his oldest brother who passed away before oh, okay, I was okay. born. So that name was given to me, Hilario. I hated the name. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't ever use Wait, it for anything. where are your anything. parents from? They're from Mex Mexico. They're from uh, Colima, well, Mexico. Oh, Colima, okay. <laughs> and uh, so it was Hilario. I remember being in, in uh, like, kinder, first grade, and they would say, Hilario, Hilario. And I'm just like... <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> and then they're like, it's you, right? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I never went by the name. Um, so Hilario and Juana here. Uh, doing it big <laughs> yeah. that's that's awesome so arnulfo shout out to arnulfo saludos a mi viejo chulo arnulfo <laughs> arnulfo because i can't call him nene you know only you can call him no nene. well that's and that's one of the things that his brothers couldn't even call him by his name Ar arnulfo so one of his older <laughs> brothers like he i'm gonna call him nene and, and it got stuck everybody knows oh, so him. everyone calls him nene everybody calls him nene all right nene Let's get Jenny a, a, a bigger kitchen here, you know, in, in the next year. House. So bigger house, bigger house. Sorry, bigger house. Uh, no, that's that's awesome, and I love how you incorporate again your your entire family and and your daughter Cindy. I do. Uh, I love incorporating my parents. Your parents. I did yeah, see that. Just because my mom, thanks to her, she got me in the kitchen at a very young age, and because of her, I I know how to cook this. I mean, I got married very young at seventeen. So um, my mother-in-law was very impressed. Like, I mira, esta sí sabe cocinar. Yeah. And I was like, pues sí. <laughs> and uh, I think I really have to thank my mom because my mom was one of the ones that in Mexico, she was known for making her birria. 
she was the one always saying, oh, pues yo te regalo la birria for, you know, the next wedding. You know, in Mexico, it's always los padrinos for everything, right? My mom was always making birria for a bautizo, for a quinceañera or, or a, a wedding. And everybody would always compliment her. I never thought that I was going to be able to do her birria because it was that amazing. And uh, with the pandemic, I got better just because I was doing it every, almost every time because everybody wanted to see it on TikTok. And so, uh, so, so yes. I think I got better after that. <laughs> you know, not to interrupt you, but Birria was that first viral video for you, right? Yes. So I was telling you, my daughter convinced me to open TikTok and I didn't even know how to use it. I had my 12 year old, my 13 year old helping me out. And my daughter was so busy in school. And she says, no, you're doing it wrong. I said, okay, well, help me. She says, okay, well, let's, let's, I'm home right now. I'm not in school. Let's, uh, let's do my, my grandma's birria. So she recorded it. She uploaded it. And I went to sleep. I think I had like 5,000 followers already in those two weeks. And, uh, oh my gosh, the following morning, it, I already had over a million views on my mom's birria. And I couldn't believe it. I run to her and I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Like my phone is blowing up. And she says, I told you, mom, I told you, people like authentic Mexican uh, dishes, especially here on TikTok. So after that, like I, I started getting so many followers, like I couldn't believe it. Before you know it, I already had a million followers, a million followers. Amazing. So I was telling my mom, I was telling my, my sisters and everybody's like, what? So what's, what's this TikTok thing? I'm like, I, it's an app and they're like well, I don't have it I said well open it like you should follow me <laughs> and uh, I invited my mom I said mom because of you I'm here so I want everybody to know where I got my recipes I started inviting her to to come cook with me and she loves it yeah she just she's such a natural too she comes into my videos she starts cooking and then my dad I noticed that he wanted to be part of it but you know TikTok it only gives you 60 seconds yep so, well, back in the day, right yeah. now, I think you do have the option for three minutes, yeah. but um, uh, back in the day, it was just 60 seconds, and I, I told my dad, espérese, papi, the next video is going to be with you, that we did uh, the cocktail de camarones that he was really famous in Mexico for. Amazing. Yeah, my, my dad was known for Jesús el, el, Jesus el Ostionero, and after he got married, they, they started selling cocktails de camarón, my mom started helping him, and they just grew they bought their house, they bought their store, and they were, they were well off in Mexico because of the, the ostiones and the, and the uh, cocteles de camarón. So I said, I need you to come and do a video for me so everybody in Chapala is going to see you. Well, sure enough, Mando, every, he was getting calls from all his, oh my gosh, friends that he had not heard in 20 years. <laughs> wow. He's like, oh my gosh, I know this guy. Like, they were telling their grandkids, like, oh, he's my really good friend. It's Jesus. It's Chuy, Chuy Negrete. And sure enough, like every, my dad's like, my phone, my phone is blowing up too. My wow. dad is going to the pharmacy to get his medicine. Like, are you the, the, the dad of that girl that's as beautiful? <laughs> Listo. My dad's like, everybody recognizes me too. It's just, it's beautiful. It's crazy. The, the power of, of social media, how... <laughs> It'll get people noticed and become a celebrity, you know, in the streets. The fact that your pops is being <laughs> stopped. Yeah. And he must he must love that. Oh, he he, <laughs> he he's always in tears just wow. because he's out. I mean, I take him back to his his days yeah. that he was he was, you know, top of his game selling his camarones. And then now he's here and he didn't continue his business here. I don't know why, but uh but uh, yeah, he's like, oh, wow, you just took me back to, to those years. And so he loves it. He loves it. You know, Mexican parents, my parents are, are, are very traditional. Um, when I wanted to get into uh, the entertainment business and media, um, they were, weren't, I wouldn't, they weren't the biggest fans of it because they... Um, I think it's more so, I always talk about this, they, they didn't understand. It's not that they weren't supportive. Um, I think it's different for you because you get to, they get to see you now make a, a change in your life. I want to talk about what, what you did before this too. <laughs> so you make a change in your life. You know, you have family and you've, um, 
and now come to a point where you discover this 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 new i wouldn't say gift because you probably always had that gift but you discover this um this new platform right uh, where you get to share your gifts to to the world and and now your parents are starting to see that you get to cook with your parents what is that that do for you what does that mean to you oh my gosh to me it's just kind of like like you just said our parents didn't understand this because it was not their world yeah and so my mom has always had a gift my dad has has he has his own gift but uh, there was no there was no social media back in the day so for me being kind of like their voice to me it's like this is the way of me paying back to them my parents have always supported all of us, like all his children, because of them, we are who we are. I mean, when they saw us struggling um, with our our first child, my mom stepped in. She's like, I'll take care of him. Go, go study, continue your studies, go work, go, go do your thing. So they've always, always been there. So for me to, to talk and rave about them and put them on my platforms, to me, it's like, I'm, use me, like use my platform because you guys deserve it too because of you i'm here and uh, i don't know it's just, to me it's i always want to give back i always want to give back to them yeah and it must make them just so so happy and proud to see what what you're doing and and it's a it's a new um a new chapter in your life too it is it's a, it's changed in so many ways that they're they're very excited every time that they see me on Telemundo and everybody's like, oh, I saw your daughter on TV or I saw your daughter here. He's like, yeah, that's, it says me Jenny, it says me Jenny. So they're very, very proud. See, that's, that's, when, that's when your parents know you made it, when you're on Telemundo, when you're on the Spanish networks, because, you know, when <laughs> I've done a crazy amount of things on, on television and radio and media, but when I make it to like Telemundo or Univision or something, that's that's where my parents are like, oh, que bien. Ahora sí, ahora sí, Luis es las grandes ligas. That's that's the seal of approval is when they they get to see you on the the channels where 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 they yeah. uh, that they view that they watch. So for those people that didn't believe on TikTok, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. believe it because you just never know where it's gonna take you. Like, I just took it and ran with it. I, I said, okay, now that uh, the very first video that went viral was my, my mom's birria, but I integrated a quesa taco. And that quesa taco, a lot of people didn't know what it was. And um, I, I told my daughter, let's do a quesa taco video. And that one went more viral. So it's just, I'm mixing my mom's uh, recipes but then I'm also putting my own touch to it. I love that. So after after the quesa taco that went viral on my video, you started seeing everybody doing a quesa taco. So I don't want to say that I started the trend, but I do hear it a lot. And um, even now, people... say it right now. <laughs> hey, Jenny started the quesa taco, okay? And this because of her that it went viral. There, I got you. Got <laughs> but you. you know, we also have to give credit to all of our street vendors because they always come up with these amazing names for all these tacos and uh, and so i have to give it to the the guy that i saw in mexico making a quesa taco for me that's amazing <laughs> no you know and that's that's how this this life works especially being a creative is is you you live life and you grab things from from here and there as you know you, you see a street vendor and you're like oh i got this idea for a recipe or i have this idea um, you know, to share and with, that's with our the beauty fans. of food. That's the beauty of cooking that this is why uh, chefs are amazing in, in their own way, because like you just said, they see one idea, they see another and they put it together and now it's yours. Right. So I never I can never go and tell a chef like that's not the right way of doing it because that's his way. Right. This is my way. So even though that it's OK, it's a Mexican dish. How many regions, you know, part of Mexico, everybody cooks different and they all come from Mexico. So that's the beauty of it. And imagine how boring the world will be if everybody cooks the same with the same exact ingredients. And you know what? I, I'm, I'm so happy you say that there's so many states and regions and towns and, and cities and, and, and I mean, Mexico, 
but also the world. Um, you could make one thing and they call it different, different thing, different names by different names. I mean, you know, a quesa taco, I'm sure people were saying, oh, it's a quesadilla. And mm -hmm. where my family's yeah. from, they call that quecas. Oh, Have you heard what? of that before? No, never. Quecas. Um, I remember going to... to and this is from Colima. Tecoman, Colima, oh. going with my cousins, getting in the car, and they're like, hey, vamos a ir a, a comprar quecas. Yeah. And I'm like, quecas, what is that? And we show up, <laughs> it's uh, it's these huge quesadillas that they put, you know, meat, different kinds of meats yeah. uh, in it. And uh, so, yeah, I mean... Everybody people, has their names. People, and, and, and that's just Mexico, right? Yeah. Like, there's different countries, like tamales could be called... Are made it's like the other... gordita and the arepas right now with with the movie with Encanto. Encanto. And it's like for us, those are gorditas, yep. but they call them arepas and that's Colombian. So it's just beautiful how it's the same ingredients, but, you know, we all call it different. But again, it's just going back to, to food. And there was this one comedian where she just cracked me up because she was talking about, okay, ¿cómo se hacen los chilaquiles? Tortilla, carne, queso. Salsa, ¿y cómo se hace un taquito? Tortilla, yeah. carne, <laughs> uh, queso, queso, salsa, and yeah. it's all the same ingredients. Right. They're just in a different form. Yep. And that's beautiful to me. That's beautiful. And of right. course, it's your touch. It's your own seasoning. You could add a little more, you could add a little less, but that's yours. That's, I, I don't know. This, I guess that's why I, lo I, I just love cooking because it's my creation. What would you say cooking has taught you uh how that brings family and friends together it does like every time i serve a dish and i have everybody on the table no cell phones it's just family and everybody's gonna eat together like i don't want you eating in your room i want you eating out here with the family this is this is us and every time i serve a plate and i see their their faces everybody's talking even with your friends they're having dinner with you. Everybody's just with a big smile. Yeah. Eating and, and just laughing, drinking. I love that. So f to me, food, uh, or what I've learned from cooking, is that food brings people together. It doesn't matter. You don't even have to speak the same language. Right. If the food is good, oh, my gosh, I yeah. love it. Like, I've tried Indian food. I've tried, uh, gosh, with my, my Vietnamese friend. I, I love it. It's like, I don't even know how I tell her, but I'm like, really good. <laughs> Yeah. With a big smile. Oh, my God. Indian food is so underrated. Right? Indian food is so, so good. A lot of people are so afraid of spices, but it's so good. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's it's amazing. If you've never tried Indian food. <laughs> it's good. Brett, have you tried Indian food? <laughs> yeah. Oh, amazing. we did. <laughs> we, it, we, yeah, we went to uh, an event that we were working, and they had craft services. They brought in Indian food. Yeah. That was my first time trying it, too. And were and, you afraid? And we, we were a little like, <laughs> okay, like little baby steps, you know, it's, you know, uh, we, okay, this is rice and this is, I don't know what this is, but let's throw it on. And we all looked at each other like, we're like, wow, Whoa. this is so good. Yes. It's a different it's sazon. But it's a different sazon, but it's, <laughs> it's, that's the beauty of, yes. of the different spices and the different way of people cooking. No, I, I absolutely love that. Um, do you have, a a chef a a cook uh you know that maybe it could be your mom um uh, your family member or a celebrity chef that you look for as as inspiration motivation or ideas gosh well gosh i go a long way back so like i said um earlier i got married very young i was 17 so even though i you know i was always calling my mom like, mom, ¿y, qué le, ¿y cómo le hago la sopa de arroz? ¿Y qué más le he hecho? ¿Y cuánto? Pero pues, you know how with Mexican parents or moms, ah, échale un poquito de aquí, un poquito de allá. And I'm like, yeah, but I need exact measurements, mom. Like, I can't do that. She says, ay, mija, pues tú ya vas a saber cuando ya va a estar. I'm like, all right, let me go to cookbooks. Let me go to, uh, was it Food Network back in the day? Gosh. I, I started watching Emeril Lagasse. Mm, and yes. so when he was saying, bam. So that's, it's funny how I feel, because I was such a big fan of Emeril Lagasse, that uh, I feel that's how I started throwing food at the camera. Because <laughs> that's, with TikTok, it's funny how you need to grab someone's attention in like the first 
three seconds, yep. right? And if you lose somebody's attention, they'll just keep on scrolling because yeah. there's just so many videos. So funny thing, I, I think I picked it up from Emeril Lagasse unconsciously. I started just throwing food at the camera and it worked and it worked. So thanks to Emeril Lagasse, I got that. And then Rachel Ray, oh my gosh, I just love how fast she was. I kind of related with her because I was working and I was coming home really late. I, was, I would get home at 6 p.m. And I knew I still had to cook dinner. I still knew I had to serve it fast. So I always would try to find, okay, how can I help myself serve, serve dinner in 30 minutes? And so Rachel Ray would always give me her ideas. So if anything, Rachel Ray was like my savior, I guess. Speaking of when you were getting home from work, um, you had a your life was completely different prior to the pandemic yes <laughs> um if, if you don't mind sharing some some of that i i think it's very inspiring and and before we get into that um we had a a friend of mine jimmy omilde uh we talked about our our past jobs um and he was a bus boy i was like hey i was a bus boy too um and it's inspiring to see how um, we have these jobs that anyone, you know, watching may have or have has had. Mm -hmm. uh, and now to see a success story like yours, um, I think is very motivating um, to, to see that that there is light at the end of, of, of the tunnel. Um, so, yes. Yeah, so prior <laughs> to the pandemic, you know, what were you, you Well, doing? I've always been in sales, thanks to my, my parents. They've always been motivated and always trying to make ends meet. Um, like I said, they wouldn't make a lot of money start when they came to the United States. So they were always selling mangos. They were selling pepinos uh, in the parks. And or my dad was uh, in a donut shop and he would bring back the donuts that they would. They were like, OK, um, they're not, um, I guess, retail. Um, yeah, yeah. It, it didn't it didn't pass the approval. So they were going to throw away that those donuts. My dad's like, no, bring them. I'll, I'll bring them home. And so he would pack them up and he's like, mija, vete a vender. So we would go knock doors. And so I always had that sales person inside me. Yeah. And I, I still love it because I was the one that always said all the mangos. I was the one from all the children. Yes, Reina Gloria. Yes, I was the one <laughs> selling the most. I would come back. I already sold all my mangos. There was something that I would always convince someone to buy it. So right before the pandemic, I was working uh, selling forklifts. So I was selling forklifts. Selling forklifts. I was with LA Lift Services selling forklifts. And it was, oh gosh, I was almost there for 10 years. I think another six months and it was 10 years. Wow. And I started as a sales coordinator. And then I, I decided just to sell on my own. I'm going to go out in the field. And I was doing pretty good until I started this TikTok. And um, I had to leave work. I had to because... I started getting sponsors right away and I didn't want to let my boss down that I really was not focusing in, you know, selling forklifts anymore. So I said, okay, I, I need to be fair with myself and with them. And so I left work. And after that, I told my daughter, okay, well, you got me into this mess. Now you're going to have to leave your work too, because <laughs> it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. That's awesome. So you were selling forklifts. And now you're creating content for social media. What would you say is is the 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 biggest <laughs> difference in in your day to day now? The biggest difference now is that it's like okay, do I have all the ingredients <laughs> at home? <laughs> fresh ingredients. No, the the biggest difference I want to say is that. I have more time, obviously, to focus on cooking. Like I've said, I've always been cooking. So the difference now is, is just having a camera in front of me. But, um, but I guess just spending a lot more time with my daughter, that bond, yeah. that she's always there. I know we have our days. We have our days, you know, because we're always together. But I, I still feel that this brought us together closer. Sure. Like, so we're just like the best of friends. That's, that's beautiful. I mean, I, I can only assume that you were out of the house for, for many oh, yeah. hours of the day throughout the week. Uh, and now I'm, I'm assuming there's, there's more time with the family. Um, yes. And 
uh, it, that's, that's such a blessing. It is. It's really a blessing because I would hear so many stories, especially during the, the pandemics, like, oh, my gosh, I lost my job or, oh, my gosh, I don't even know how to uh, pay my bills. And I'm over here, you know, just recording. And I'm getting all these sponsors. So I felt really blessed that it, it to me was a blessing that, oh, my gosh. But my mom has always said, mija, es que tú eres muy buena. Like, you have such a big heart. Bien enojona. Eso sí. Pocas pulgas. Is she, is she enojona, Cindy? <laughs> is, she, is your mom enojona? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> pero me dice que my mom says that I have such a big heart. And so she says, uh, Dios te está recompensando lo que tú haces. Yeah. And so I, I truly believe that if you do good in this life, Somehow, somewhere, you know, you're going to get that goodness back. Now, this next section of the program is sponsored by Verizon. Verizon has partnered up with Oi Health to offer discounts and savings on telehealth services and tu idioma for customers and their families. And as you guys know, health, not just physical health, but mental health is so important. So for this next question, Jenny, I want to highlight mental health in nuestra Comunidad, what do you do to take care of your mental health? You know what? I just stay busy, stay busy. Um, when I'm not cooking, I always tell my, my daughter, let's go for a walk. Let's go exercise. Yeah. Um, I, we turn on the radio. We start singing. Um, I even have my boys like they're like, I'm bored. Like, I don't know what else to do. All right, let's go grab your bike. Let's go outside, get your skateboard. Just keeping yourself moving, it's it's so, for me, I have to, I, like, I have to stay moving. Even when I go to the restroom, I'm already thinking, okay, oh, my gosh. Like, I'm going to do this. I'm already do that. I'm going to do that. Like, I sometimes can't stop thinking. Or I have to grab something, and I'm like, I, while I'm in the restroom, I could do this. I could do that. I'm cleaning. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's crazy. I'm always trying Non-stop. to stay busy. And I guess that's what helps me. Yeah, you know what? I'm gl- I'm so happy that you say you know going for a walk, yes. exercising. Um, for me, during or from the pandemic on to now, uh, bike riding has been something that's helped me immensely. Uh, it's th- very therapeutic for me. It's um, it takes me back. Uh, it's very nostalgic for me too. Uh, when I was a kid, I would ride a lot of bikes. Well, nowadays, kids don't have that, right? We parents freak, freak out. And I remember I, I used to walk to the store by myself and I was eight years old. And now I freak out because my 12 year old is going to walk to the store to the corner. And both parents were like, uh, is it OK? Should we let him go? No, let's just put him in the car. Let's give him a ride. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> and so back in the day, what did, we were walking everywhere. We were riding our bikes everywhere. And so... I feel bad for my boys that they don't have that same freedom. Even in school, they're not allowed to play freeze tag or anything that's running because we don't want them to get hurt. But it's like, like yeah. well, that's how we grew up and we're alive. Yeah. We did okay. <laughs> yeah, I would say so. Right. We turned out okay. Uh, especially now with the, with the pandemic too, like contact sports and, yes. um, you know, some uh, schools aren't yes, allowing it. It's so sad. So just, just stay busy. Go Stay out of your house if you can. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, because really, if you're just staring at the walls, yeah, you, it could get really depressing. You know, Jenny, f- cooking for me is is very therapeutic, too. Really? Um, is I know it's it's your job, but is it therapeutic for you, too? I, I love it. So I don't even feel like it's a job. I love it. I don't want to say if it's therapeutic. Maybe it is, but I don't see it that way. It's just a passion for me, I guess, more than anything that I just love. I could be hours and hours in the kitchen. And for me, it's like, it's like, oh, my gosh, it's already, you know, two, three hours. My husband's always like, vente a sentar, come and sit down. And I'm like, wait, 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 let me just do one more thing. Or wait, 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 let me do uh, caramel popcorn. Just, you know, (laughs) so we can sit down. He's like, but you, you need to get off your feet. And I just don't get tired. I don't like washing dishes, though. <laughs> yeah, same, same. But you know what? I was really, really blessed with my husband. He helps me so much that uh, he says, okay, you've been cooking all day long. 
let me take care of the dishes. That's beautiful. So he helps me in that way. That's beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I I I'm not a fan of 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 washing dishes. I think I've told my guys here too. I'm like, man, I love cooking, but the mess comes, after it's like oh, man. <laughs> have just, kids and then have them help you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's 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 that's, that's what I do that's with my hack. kids. <laughs> like everybody has their day. Like, okay, you do Monday, you wash dishes Tuesday. And now they used to complain before and now they just got used to it. It's like, okay, let me, let me just get it out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jenny. Have kids. <laughs> that's, that's the pro tip. All right. Is, is Joaquin uh, washing dishes yet? <laughs> Not yet. Not yet, but you were. He's been with the BS. Joaquin is how old now? He's three. <laughs> Flipping tortillas. Wow, he's going to be a chef. Oh, how cute. At three? You got to start him young, you know? Wow. Is he using tongs or is he with his hands? He went for a fork. So, now he's doing the tongs because he burned himself the first time. He'll get there. He'll get yeah, there. Yeah, no, but it, that's beautiful, though, that you get your kids involved in the kitchen. That's what I do all the time. To me, it's like, okay, you're never too young. If you like it, just get in there. Come here, let's, let, let me show you. Right now, I'm telling you, my 12-year-old, he can cook a whole meal on his own. And it's amazing that 12-year-old, I, I hear other moms saying, oh, not even my 20-year-old can do that right now. Whatever your son is doing, like, that's really good, Jenny. And I've, I've always, at 70 years old, it's like, okay, you, ha you already can pick up something, get your dirty basket, and you put it in the, in the washer. Yeah. I've always... I don't know what it is that I try to make them independent at a, at a very young age, just because my mentality is like, I don't know if I'm always going to be there for them or here. Yeah. I mean, anything can happen. Right. So if you, if you, I don't want to say train them, but if you teach them yes. uh, at a very early age, they won't be afraid to do anything as an adult. My 29 year old right now, I'm so also very, very proud of him. He's doing really good, and he can cook. He can pretty much do anything that you you throw at him too. He's he's also an artist. He draws really really good. It, it's just that he's very lazy. <laughs> he's not as me. Like I'm always like, okay, let's go, let's let's do this, let's do that. And he's like, mom, you know, let's. That's, that's, yeah. And I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> like ah, like I want to like light up a fire on him. <laughs> but it's funny how all my kids they're they're like. A little slow and i'm like let's do this let's do that come on let's do that and my head you're very movida oh, i see and i sometimes i don't know if it's a if it's a good thing or a bad thing but uh, i can't stop my brain even when i go to sleep i'm like thinking of okay what am i gonna do next what's gonna what, what i should do this or i should change this it's already two o'clock in the morning <laughs> yeah. and, and i'm still awake thinking of the other stuff <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> yeah I, I feel like that's why people love you People love to see you. People love to watch your videos because you, you, you're you like... I'm so raw. <laughs> and, and I feel like, like... Nothing has to be perfect. Let's just get it done. <laughs> it's very... You're very relatable. Like, you know, you... People see you. They see themselves. They see, you know, uh, their their family. They see their mom. They see, you know, their, their, their a tia. They, 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 they see their sibling. You know, they, they, they see family when they see you. And you are absolutely correct because I get so many of my followers saying, sending me DMs saying, oh my gosh, like you cook like my mom. You just reminded me of a dish my grandma used to make. Or this is exactly the way my dad would make the, uh, this dish. Or, um, oh my gosh, Jenny, like my mom is, she already passed away, but I remembered uh, she taught me how to make this dish and I haven't done it. Thank you so much for showing me again or bringing me back those memories. There's, it's, it's a weird connection, even with kids. Yeah. Uh, it's funny how I have so many moms saying, because of my five-year-old, because of my seven-year-old, I'm looking at your videos. They're like, beautiful, listo. Mom, look, look at her. You should cook like her. And, uh, and, and I'm following you because of my five-year-old. So I get so many of those. And to me, that it's, it's really such a beautiful feeling that I get so many young girls saying, thank you for, for inspiring me to get in the kitchen. Like, I never thought that I was able to do this dish. And just you making it look so easy. Like, I, was, I said, if Jenny's doing it, like, in 60 seconds, I could do it. <laughs> <And> so <laughs> there's, there's a lot of girls 
that uh, they're saying my mom never taught me how to cook or I left home so early and because of your videos, you inspired me to get in the kitchen and that's, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. What would you say is, is that next project for you in, in 2022? Gosh, there's so many things like the sky is the limit now with these opportunities, Mondo. You just have to, like I told my husband, we have to, you know, take it, embrace it and run with it. And uh, my next big, big project, I'm working on my cookbook. And so I'm already talking to my agent and the publisher. And oh my gosh, I thought, okay, let's just take some pictures and let's just write my recipe. And it doesn't work like that. There's a lot of work to, that goes into a cookbook that it takes a year and a half to two years to put a cookbook together. Wow. And so that's going to take a while. Um, I'm working also talking to a tequila company. They want to put my name on one of the bottles. And so that's very exciting. Um, another thing that uh, I really want to do is like my, everybody asked me what type of pots and pans I'm always using. And a pot company also reached out to me and they want to put my name on it. That is amazing. So there's just so many things that, I mean, I wish they could be out right now. But it takes time, and so I just can't wait. <laughs> I Jenny, can't that, wait. that's 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 so, and, and that's what I was telling you earlier. You're just scratching the surface, <laughs> like all this success, the the going viral, uh, being noticed by different media outlets, brands reaching out to you. It's it's just it's just the beginning for you. It's just the beginning, <laughs> and and um, you know, I as a content creator myself, I know that it's not easy um people may think that you just put a phone in front of your your in your kitchen in front of you and and and, and just knock it out but it, I mean, it it takes a lot of work for a really good quality video yes it does take a lot of work into it thankfully my daughter is the one that helps me this is why i call her my daughter Jer, because she's she's the one answering all the emails she's the one editing all my my videos and as, as she's doing that i just get my phone and then i just start recording myself and I don't even think of me like, oh, my gosh, do I look good or do I have plenty of makeup or is my hair done? I just start recording myself. And that's one of the things that I also I think a lot of my followers appreciate that, that uh, it's not about, you know, how I look. It's about my passion. It's about what I'm cooking. And so I think that's that's what they appreciate about me. Yeah. Yeah. When it comes to like you don't even wear makeup on your videos, You're like you don't even care. Like I don't. <laughs> I really don't. That's what filters are for. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, that, for that would make me look good. <laughs> oh, I got lashes all of a sudden. <laughs> no lashes, no problem. No. Let me just find the right filter. There you go. Sass. Sass. Uh, let's talk about being Mexican American. Uh, what part of, of being Mexican American would you say you're most proud of? that I speak both languages. That's, I think such an advantage that you're able to connect both worlds. Uh, it's funny how in the, in the early, I wanna say early 90s, I was so embarrassed to speak Spanish just because I would feel like, uh, like we would all, I would always feel like, oh, if I speak Spanish, I'm gonna be discriminated or I'm not gonna get the same opportunities. But uh, the reality is that we spoke Spanish 100% at home. And there was no one telling us, oh, you're mispronouncing this or, or you have an accent. So I go out in the real world, right? A corporate, <laughs> corporate world. And you're like, oh, you have an accent. And I'm like, I do. Like, yeah. I didn't even realize I had an accent. But I think that's the beauty of, of uh, the way I would see it. I, would, I wouldn't see it. At one point, I said, you know what? It's not a disadvantage that I have an accent. I freaking speak another language. And I should be proud of that. And so for me, I've never been embarrassed to be Mexican. I've never been embarrassed to say, mi nombre es Juana, never, or my age. I've never been embarrassed of who I am because that's, that's reality. Like you can hide, you can, you can modify, but at the end of the day, if you're, you could be one, you're saying you're another, one person, but you're really not, then you're just lying to yourself. So that's one of the things that I've told my kids you're going to speak Spanish and you're going to learn how to speak Spanish because that's, that's us. That's, that's our culture. And you're going to learn how to eat nopales. You're going to learn how to eat birria and tamales because all oh, my friends are having turkey for, for Christmas. Okay. You're going to have tamales. 
and you're going to learn how to make them. And it's funny how my mom, she always had this little, uh, it, she, her table, like one is embarrando los tamales. The other one's like cutting the cheese and the, the chile for the chiles de raja. The other one is soaking the, the, the corn husk. Yep. And they're, even our little kids, they want to participate because we make it seem so fun. fun. They're like, I want to do it. I want to do it. Not knowing that it's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. they want to participate at a very early age because we just make it so fun. Like, okay, this is our tradition. And this is where we're not going to make a turkey. We could have turkey for Thanksgiving. And for Christmas, it's going to be tamales. That's our tradition. Con pozole. And if you put a tamal inside the pozole... Have you ever tried that? No. If you put a tamal inside your pozole, the, the tamal sucks up the juice of the caldito del pozole. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, it's another level. I got to try so it. You got to try it. <laughs> or fried try that, tamales. Man? Fried tamales, too. Right. So good. Yes. Oh, so good. Like that. We, we look forward for the following morning after Christmas because we already want to eat our fried tamales. Fried tamales. Now, is it, are they seared or are they like... Deep fried. No, well, kind of deep fried. I mean, there you need plenty of of oil to fry them both sides. But uh, it's like a it's like a, a tamal fry. Everything fried is just so much better. <laughs> it is. That's that. It's that. the unhealthy <laughs> way, but it's just so much better. That is a fact. My dad refries refried beans. And he says it tastes better, and and I believe him. I believe him. Well, that's why they're called not good for beans, his health, right? <laughs> but for good for his taste buds, I guess. Um, when it comes to suggesting, when it comes to advising, uh, you know, your the next generation of of cooks of of content creators, what advice would you have for them? Just lose fear. Uh, if you like it, do it. If uh, Don't be embarrassed of who you are, where you come from, because God made you for a reason. And um, I feel that if we try to hide ourselves, that's when, that's when we fail. If you, if you show your, the true you, I mean, you have something special that maybe, like you said earlier, maybe we could inspire someone just because of who you are, your, your, the tone of your voice, just the way that you look or, or the way that you talk. Like, I talk with my hands. I feel like I'm always like, ah, and I'm so loud, and I'm like, I, could ha I have, like, the loudest laugh that everybody looks at me like, oh, my gosh, she's crazy, or, or she's drunk. Oh, my gosh, how many shots has she has? I'm like, none. Like, let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how a lot of my fans say, Ay, Jenny, ya cuántas llevas? Digo, todavía ni una, pero déjame hecho una. <laughs> and uh, it's funny how, you know, it's just, just let, let the inner side of you just come out. And, and if something like this happens to you, that something does go viral, or any business that you start, just be focused, be dedicated, and just be consistent. That's what it is. Every day, you just have to do it. You have to do it. That's how successful business owners are. They, it's a consistency. It's not that their their product is the best or that it's better. It's just that they're doing it every day. They're just doing it. And so they fail, they get up again, and they do it. And that's what you need to do. Just never stop. Never stop. I love that. Everything you just said is so true, is factual, and... Uh, you know, people may think that you have to be the, the best. best at something. And in the world that we live in today, you just have to be good quality and cons consistency. You know, at times, hey, you may be the best, um, which is great, but it's, it's more so about being consist consistent. Yeah. Um, it's more so about being yourself in I've been in the entertainment industry for a long time, Jenny, and I've seen people change who they are uh, to try to fit in or change who they are uh, to try to be cool. Or, um, I mean, I've seen the switch where people you're talk. I'm like talking to you and then people approach us and then they become someone else. And I'm like, wait, what, how, how did you just change up like that? You know, you're, you're, it becomes not just fake to others, but you become fake to yourself. And I feel like oh, yeah. that's, that's a, a, a very, you're only cheating yourself. And, and you know, the fact that um, you get to, to be yourself 
and you get to find success as yourself, there's no um, no reason for you to like fake anything. I mean, yeah. there's the it's it's easy because you get to be yourself at at all times. Yeah, it's it's so true, and that's one of the things that um, when we go back to Mexico, you know, the first thing that everybody says, oh. Pues que, que nada más llegas a los Estados Unidos y ya estás haciendo mucho dinero. No. Uh, do you see me that I have uh, a, a new car? It's because I'm still paying for it. Like, I'm in debt, if anything. It's not that <laughs> I'm like, you know, because of, because of the loans, we're able to buy a house. We're able to get cars. But uh, by all means, like, you guys have a better life here because not only, I don't know, for me, every time I go to Mexico, I feel like, Everything is more of a calmer, like a pace. Everything is just las, ma las tortillas hechas a mano. Everything is just, it takes time. Acá, eh, todo está, eh, you know, we're just, I'm already throwing Spanish. It's, it's, <laughs> it's just, a I lo just rápido, like, it's ajá, instant. Llegas del trabajo, tienes que cocinar, tienes que, hacer, tienes que ayudar a los niños con la, con la tarea, los tienes que bañar, and then just all of a sudden your day is over. Yeah. And so... To me, it's it's like I hate to go to Mexico and say, oh, yeah, I'm better than you because we're not. Right. We just had an opportunity. Right. But that doesn't mean that I'm better than you or that I'm you. Ha you guys have more money here. You guys have your house paid off. I'm still paying for mine. <laughs> like you don't have to worry about making a mortgage payment. I am this truck. Like I said, I'm st I still owe it. And so I, I hate going to Mexico and throwing it into somebody's face. Like to that's not me. Yeah. And a lot of family, especially some of the cousins, like, wow, like, we never thought that you would be this, this um, humble, that when you come to, to Mexico, you're not saying, oh, tengo dinero, tengo acá. Even, even right now that things are happening for me the way it's happening, I don't go to you and I'm like, oh, I'm viral. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm viral. I'm, I'm famous because I don't feel that I'm famous. I yeah. just feel like, oh, my gosh, I'm blessed with this opportunity. And I think anybody could do it really if they focus and they put the hard work to it and they stay true to themselves. Yeah. No, you're very, very genuine. Jenny, you win. <laughs> yeah. You're very. I love that. <laughs> you're very humble. Um, and, and you can't fake that. You know, even though you, even though you, you showed up in your, in your helicopter today. Um, <laughs> you're still. <laughs> And your Jenny That's Chopper, <laughs> the Jenny Chopper uh, landed on uh, on top of Hub Wave, and you're you're still you're still very humble. <laughs> no, and and you really can't fake that, Jenny. You know, um, it's it's it goes back to what we were saying about just being yourself. Um, I I would like to think that the easiest thing about my career is that I have always been myself, no matter what what I've done, uh, where I've been, who I'm talking to. I'm I'm a hundred percent me, you know, and I and that is one of my strongest. Um, I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't features strongest. Um, you know, An attribute, attribute yeah. and and that has helped me in in my career is that I'm I'm always me, but that's also uh, the easiest thing about. Uh, my day to day is that I don't have to pretend to pretend uh -huh. to be something or, or someone else. It's funny how I had this cousin. He was ashamed of be saying that he was Mexican, so he he came up with this accent that he, he was he was uh, Spanish. <laughs> so then he had español, and uh, and then he would always have to remember like, okay, I have to like I can't stop with this accent, right? The, to a point that he he forgot. <laughs> His accent, he was talking Spanish, and one lady's like, wait, I thought you were from Spain. <laughs> and so it's just funny how, you know, you just, you just made me remember that part. It's like, you just, this is why you can't be lying. Like, you, you have to stay true to yourself. Otherwise, you just have to, to cover one lie, they say, what, you need, like, how many other lies? Right, right, <laughs> right. And, and, you know, to, to go about life like that, um, it's not healthy, you know? And... Um, you're not doing yourself any favors. And again, just going back to, to you, Jenny, the fact that you are very genuine, you get to be yourself. Um, people see that through the camera. Uh, people see that through, through your recipes and, you know, food is love. 
Yes. What you are 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 giving through your platforms is is love. And like we were just talking uh, uh, about, you don't have to be the best. You don't have to sell the best product. But uh, if you do it with love and you do it your way, you will connect with people. And I've said it all along. There's like millions of better people that cook better than me. But there's there's something that, I don't know, that I, may, like you just said, maybe I connected with that person in, in a in a in a different way, in whatever way it was. But um, so you will never catch me saying, oh, I'm the best chef. Oh, I, my, my dish is the best thing because I already know it's not. But I just do it with love and you could tell it. I mean, you could really taste it. And that's, that's also very important. My, my kids and my, my husband say, ay, mija, que rico te quedó ahora. Pues siempre lo hago así. No, pero ahora te quedó más rico. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Con hambre todo sale... <laughs> Más rico. And uh, it's funny how my oldest son say, after, after, after you started uh, posting on TikTok, everything is just extra special. I'm like, okay, <laughs> if you say so. Yeah, no, that's, that's, I love all of that, Jenny. So now all this attention that has, you know, come your way, you've been on, uh, on television, uh, you uh, different shows, different networks, English networks, um, Spanish networks gone viral of all of that that is is happening uh for you what would you say is 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 your favorite or, or do you have a favorite moment so far i want to say when um well i always appreciate telemundo univision you know the doctor's show but i don't know the, but I mando guess, and friends and oh <laughs> you, jenny thank you so much man yes, mando know, and i knew i liked jenny man yeah because you gave me a whole hour not <laughs> just five minutes right, right you see? <laughs> but no, i think no. i want to say when la times was at my house for me that was like hey wait yeah. like oh shit la times is yeah. here That's i huge. don't know if it's huge or, or or better than uh, television, but I don't know, for some reason, I went to go to my local Starbucks and there it was, the newspaper, my face right there. To me, that was, that was huge. Yeah, and that's forever. I mean, that's something that, um, especially being from Los Angeles, to be on the LA Times is, is, is epic. I don't know it's just an have you framed it yet <laughs> my husband said he was gonna framed it but <laughs> we're still waiting for the frame <laughs> yeah it's a it's but a yes it's a must it's a must and then now with youtube i also got my award um like i never thought of doing youtube like never in my life but everybody's like you need longer videos like more longer tutorials on your cooking so we started doing youtube i received my very first plaque the 100,000 uh, followers. So to me, that's also a blessing. With So if you guys want to see my videos, it's Jenny Martinez. <laughs> and, and I've been hearing that it that my name is the very first one that comes up when they, they type Jenny Martinez. I mean, Jenny. Like, they, it comes up. And to me, that's, wow. Like, it's huge for me, too. That is. That is huge. You're, you're topping Jenny from the block out here. <laughs> Ahora sí. Ahora sí. Jenny from the block. <laughs> <laughs> no. Mondo, we started, my husband and I started from nothing. He, when we got married, I was 17, he was 19. He was making $6 an hour. And then I got pregnant right away. So he's like, ah, oh, uh, you could stay home. And so with $6 an hour, I'm like, no, like there is no way. Like there's no way. We cannot, aff I can't afford for me to stay home. And slowly but surely, we always moved up. Like every time that they say, ay, pero es que ya, ya, ya la tienes hecha. Like you're, you're good. I'm like, no. Like, I, I know I could do better. And so it's funny how by the age, I mean, making $6 an hour, my husband at, um, at the age of 20, by the age that I was 25, he was 26, we already bought our house because we were so focused. We said, no, I'm, I have to go get a job. I have to help you. And I saved my whole paycheck for like a whole year that was our down our deposit yeah. for the house and uh, he was so nervous he was saying hi mija we're, we're only paying five hundred dollars a rent and now we're gonna pay twenty two hundred dollars a month like no like we're not gonna be able to do it i said okay if we're let's say we i said 
they would have not given us the loan, right? If first of all, if we couldn't afford it. I said, but let's say something does go wrong. All right, we start all over again. So what? Like, let, let's, let's do it. But if we never do it, then we're never going to know. And so he thanks me right now for motivating, motivating him in that way because he, he was very, very scared to make that big jump. No, that's, that's so inspiring and, and motivating for people to hear. Uh, and now to, you know, from that to where you're at now, it's, it's a journey. My favorite quote is, the joy is in the journey. Yeah. We often think that the joy is at the top of, of that mountain, uh, at the peak. But really, it's, 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 it's life. And you never stop learning in life. Never. I, I could still tell you that if somebody comes to me and say, oh, I'm, like, I'm the know-it-all, I know everything, then I'm talking to the wrong person. Yeah. Like, I'm not interested in talking to you anymore. Because you're, there's always one thing that you want to um, continue. Well, for me, that I want to continue learning uh, that I, there's always something new that I'm, all, that I'm always going to look at or just learn from and take it with me and then take it back home. And so for me, this is why I like talking to older people because I get to learn their ways. And their ways, that doesn't mean that, you know, they're expired or that they're old or outdated. No, because if you really see the big picture, we could always bring the old ideas to the new ways. And they, they're such huge hits. Yeah. Yeah, I think another just hearing you in 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 the last hour, Jenny, uh, the fact that you embrace the old and embrace and the, the new. new, and embrace yourself. I mean, you can't lose. You know, you're constantly learning. You're constantly putting things into action. Um, that's a that's that's a life hack right there. <laughs> so, Jenny, we have uh, rapid fire with Jenny Martinez. <laughs> that we're about to get into um you can answer these questions okay. as, as fast <laughs> as you possibly can oh my gosh i suck at this <laughs> <laughs> or if you want to go a little bit into detail on some of the questions you can okay you ready okay favorite spanish word listo <laughs> listo <laughs> salsa o merengue ah salsa Green salsa or red salsa? Green salsa. Favorite piece of tech that you use on a daily basis? A tech? What is technology. that? Technology. Oh, technology. It, it, okay, I'm old. A, <laughs> it could be a phone. My blender. Your blender. <laughs> <laughs> My, uh, uh, it's that. a high-tech blender. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We need that. We need that. No, you need a blender. We need the Amazon link for that one. <laughs> Favorite song to play at a party? Oh my God. Jenny Rivera, Ya Lo Sé. Okay. That, everybody asks me to sing that one everywhere we go. I'm like, uh, are you guys sure you guys are not bored hearing me sing this one? I'm like, no, no. So you get but, down. Well, say one. <laughs> your, your mom gets down with the Jenny Rivera? You want to do a little, a little piece right now? I could try. Do it. <laughs> Where's the karaoke at? <laughs> Give us a little taste. A little taste. Oh, my God. How does it start? Let's see. Oh, my gosh, Mondo. I can't believe you're going to make me sing. <laughs> what do you think, Cindy? See, I'm going to mess it up. Okay, if we mess it up. <laughs> we mess it up, we cut it. <laughs> How does it go? What, what's the beginning of the la de que dice, ciérrame, de las, ciérrame las puertas en la cara. Pásame con otra por enfrente. Grítame que no con la mirada. Para ver si dejo de quererte. Vuélveme a decir que no me quieres. Para que me quede bien clarito, para ver si en todas las paredes dejo de escribir, te necesito. Hey, hey. Lo, lo dice, lo dice. Ya lo sé, y aunque llore, te pida y te implore, no vas a volver. Yeah. 
I'm out of frame. I'm out of, I'm out of frame right now. You're out of frame. But you need to stand in your way. Oh, you're too nice. You're too nice. There you go. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. I didn't want to hurt your ears, but I'm like, wait, don't stop me right now. <laughs> that was amazing. You you are officially our first our first singer on the show. You're a singer. You're a chef turned singer. You sing I great, know. Jenny. <laughs> that was good. So, yeah, just give me a couple of shots of tequila and I get better. Hay que afinar la garganta, como decía Jenny Rivera. Jenny, <laughs> lastly, what's one of your nicknames that no one really knows about? Yanni. Yanni. That's how my uncle started calling me, Yanni. 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 That's where Jenny came. I appreciate you so, so much for coming to Mondo and Friends. You're always welcome. This is Thank you, Mondo. your home. Congrats on all the success and congrats on just growing, succeeding, and, and you know, being uh, that you're doing all of this with, with your family. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity with Mondo and Friends. And oh my gosh, you just made me feel like home. So, hey, don't, don't, don't threaten us with a good time. Uh, we are, we will be there. And thank you so much again. Thank you to Jenny. And thank you so much for watching and listening to Mondo and Friends presented by Verizon.